Okay, this is a review for the uh, um, ISN H40, and uh, I'm I'm very impressed with this. I'll tell you right off the bat. Um, and, and so let's get into some details about it. Um, so first off, it comes in this simple little box, right? Uh, the only thing in the box, the only thing in, in this box, is this little case. And inside the case, you get um, a set of tips, which I believe I left in the box here. Yeah, so you get a set of tips, you get this little hook for attaching the case, I guess, to something else. Um, there's a little loop on the case right there. Uh, you get a little cleaning brush. I mean, it's a nice assortment of tips. And um, I did it. I think I did, yeah, I did end up using the tips that it came with, and it even came with one pair of foam tips, which I tried out, and I liked it with those as well. But I got the best seal from these uh, um, silicone tips. So anyway, it comes with this nice little case, which I, I actually really like the case. It, it lays right on top of my FIOM11 real well, so I can just grab this and carry this wherever I'm going and listen to music. So um, The cable... The cable is very nice, very nice. Um, the cable has, let's see if you can, has these nice little gold rings on it. Um, and, <clears throat> excuse me, it has these nice little gold rings on it. Um, nice silver, I'm guessing silver plated cable. Uh, I think that's what it says, copper, silver plated copper. Um, nice braid. It goes down to another, uh, you know, split with the gold rings, and I guess this is the chin slider, this little metal. Um, well, I mean, I know this is the chin slider, this little metal um, circle here, and honestly, uh, it doesn't do anything. I mean, pretty much you'll you'll see that if I hold that up and kind of let it go, boom, it just slides right down. So it doesn't really doesn't really work, but whatever I mean I, I'm not gonna judge them on that but the cable of uh, the weave down here is very nice um, it's very comfortable uh, doesn't tangle I don't have any problems with this you know when I'm getting it out of the case and it's all tangled up I gotta untie everything it seems to stay tangle free pretty well um, the connector is again with the gold rings I got the 2.5 option and yeah I mean the cable works great it does not have ear loops which I actually prefer but um, not too big a deal and, and you know I, I say I prefer those and there's actually a reason why I prefer them and I'll kind of fill you in really quickly on that when when you are using um, ones that don't have ear loops and you've got these in your ear and they're looped over your ear and you do something dorky like I usually do where I stand up and try to walk away why the it's plugged into the, the um, file M11 and the cord yanks hard <laughs> and it pulls these things out of your ear or I've even even had it pull the connector out or and, and in time if that happens enough um, it'll damage the wire now with the looped connector that you find on others where it's got a you know a, either a wire in there or a, a thick plastic tube that has been heat shrunk down and into that sh loop shape I find that the the stress really happens down here further than right here because it, that loop kind of protects it and puts the pressure um, down towards the bottom rather than just yanking it like that back so anyway that's why I, I like loop connectors and they get a little they're a little easier to put over my ear I feel like they stay in place better but but either way, this cable is very nice. I'm totally happy with it. I see no reason to change this cable whatsoever. Um, and I won't waste more of your time talking about um, the cable. So let's talk about the IEMs. The, the sound on these things is pretty fantastic. So the these things, these things are fingerprint magnets for sure. They got this nice little gold um, uh, K on there. I guess it's supposed to be a K and S and an, or an I and S and an N or a K. I'm not really sure 
what that's supposed to be. It looks like a little harp and a, the letter I, but but uh, I don't know that that is what this is. Um, that seems to be their logo. It's on their on their their box as well. Uh, yeah, and it is a harp. Um, and then you can see also from the uh, removing the nozzle there. The I mean, removing the tip. The nozzle is uh, gold plated as well, or looks to be gold plated. Might be brass. And the and the funny thing is that that filter on the end is very dense and flat. I don't know if you can see that really well, but it, it it's. When you look at it, especially when I look through my jeweler's loop, it's surprising that sound actually gets through it. And I'd, I'd kind of like to, you know, I haven't tried to take this off to, um, you know, like try to unscrew it. I don't want to damage this. But I, I, I don't know how it looks on the other side. And I'm kind of interested in that because, because these things are very, very clear. Um, and, and I'll talk about that real quick. The, these were very detailed. The treble was very good. The mids were really good. The bass was good. The sub bass was good. Um, to my ear, the mids were excellent. Vocals were not out of place or forward. Um, they felt, in fact, these felt a slightly V-shaped. And there's a graph on their little brother. I think it's like the the um, the D10 or something or the H10. I don't know. I have to go look. But the the lesser expensive of the two. Um, ISN uh, uh, IEMs um, had a graph and that graph was V-shaped. Now um, this one feels a little reference to me um, but yet there is, does seem like a slight V which I actually enjoy a, a slight V. So um, the, the treble is very detailed and the um, there seemed to be a slight elevation in bass but I liked it, and um, it the bass was good. It was because this has a dynamic driver in it. Um, the bass felt very real, and and the timbre was very good. The uh, um, didn't bleed off into the mids. Uh, didn't rumble and and feel out of you know and, and they get that kind of weird sound to it. Some IEMs do when you crank them up because I did listen to these fairly loud. Um, the in fact. I, I really enjoyed listening to these. The they felt they they sounded very good with my entire library: classical, rock, hip hop, um, some EDM, um, pop, um, vocals, um, a lot of jazz, um, guitar music. I mean, just anything you can think of. I I, I enjoy just about everything. Um, so let me cover a few songs. So there's an old song by Tracy Chapman, um, uh, you know, Fast Car. You guys may remember that. She became big in the 80s with that song. And But that song, the copy that I have is is like a, a re-release that's been remastered. And her guitar work is fantastic in that. And her voice with the guitar, it's very clear. Um, and these reproduce that so well. Her voice just sounds fantastic, and the guitar, you can just hear her fingers picking on the strings, and it really sounded great. The Lady Gaga Joanne is another song that I really like. Um, she, you know, I don't like all of her stuff, but there is some things she does. Her voice, is, when, it, when you just get to hear her voice, her voice is really beautiful. And the um, that song Joanne, the guitar in it is very good, and it's, and very clear and realistic on, on these IEMs. Her voice, um, you can hear details in her voice I can't hear with a lot of other IEMs, like because the 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 mids and the treble on this are they mix really well and so you you can get these um, vocals, female vocals especially that this very um, clear and detailed sound but still the timbre is still good, they sound very realistic you know. Um, Portishead, Mysterions, is a kind of a crazy song, but I really like it. it. Had these reproduced the bass on that song really that on that song really well. That song has has a great bass line to it, and um, this was very detailed, very good. Um, another song, Sour Times by Portishead, sounded great. I, I don't know what else to say about it. They these sounded fantastic on that. Um, 
Rodrigo and Gabriela, the guitar work. In fact, I listened to Justin LeBlu, um, Rodrigo and Gabriela, and I mean, just a whole bunch of guitar tracks. Guitar sounds phenomenal on these. I mean, just, you have to hear it really to, to, for, to experience. I don't know that I can relay to you how well that it sounds on these. Um, REM, Try Not to Breathe. I The voice was crazy clear on these things. The background guitars sounded just in the right position. The, the timbre was excellent, and the imaging was excellent. Um, I did Miles Davis, Someday My Prince Will Come. It's one of my favorite songs, especially for testing, because there's, there's a lot of, um, you know, different instruments that are really separated well in there. Um, and the detail was excellent. The separation was excellent. Uh, the treble was really good. Uh, you know, I, I don't know on this review what I can tell you other than these are, are just pretty fantastic. And I'm going to do a separate video on comparing these to the Mangrid T. Um, yeah, but I will give you a spoiler alert that I'm keeping these and selling the Mangrid T. And these aren't phenomenally better or something. It's not like, oh my god, these are so much better. But but these these are better. Not by a huge margin, just by a tiny bit. But um, there was a song that I... So I listen to Tidal. I, I, I'm a Tidal subscriber, and I like to go and just look at their Explore section where they just post all sorts of new music, new um, new artists, and I just try different things out because who knows what I'll find that I like, right? And I found this one artist. Her name is uh, uh, Cecilia Strange, and it's it's she does jazz, and she plays saxophone, and there's a song called Bridge, and in that song, there's... A, so the thing about Cecilia Strange that I that I like. I'm not listening to it all the time. It's not like one of my favorites, but her, if you listen to her tracks on any of her albums, but on, on that song Bridge especially, um, it's, her music's kind of different in the sense that like the instruments seem far apart and very separated. And each instrument, whether it's the drums, whether it's the uh, piano, whether it's her saxophone, um, if there's a guitar, all of it kind of happens in its own place in its own time and, and it's hard to explain that to you you have to listen to that song but it's like it's almost like she made it for audio files to test their gear on that's what it kind of comes down to and there is um, a section in that song bridge that she's playing the saxophone and she blows this very low note on the saxophone and if you've been in the room with somebody who who plays saxophone and they or even at a maybe at a small jazz club and they blow one of those really low notes on a on a saxophone um, there's this deep vibration that comes almost into your breastbone, right? Where you can feel it. It's like this, you know, I, I don't know how to explain it other than you have to hear it. But in that song, there's a section where she does that. And it is phenomenally real on these. Like when I heard it, I, it kind of stunned me. And I had to go back and listen to it again. And then I plugged the Mangra T in and did the, listen to the same thing. And I must have done it four or five times, back and forth, back and forth. And these completely re these reproduce that so accurately and so well and the mangra tea didn't the mangra tea sounded fine and i wouldn't really have known there was anything wrong if i had just listened to the mangra tea right it sounded good but when i heard that section on these then i went off on a whole another like search and, and discover through other songs testing those two against each other and and in the end these won these these produce certain sections of songs so realistically that it made me it, it just led me to believe that these were definitely superior to the mangra tea um and the funny thing is these look a lot like the mangra tea if you put the body side by side i'm it's almost as if they were made in the same manufacturing line and it's just a different tuning was applied i mean because they're so close in sound quality um but but these definitely uh, did end up winning out so um you know, in the end, uh, these are a definite buy. I paid, I think, one ninety five for these, and I bought them. I, I used a different provider this time, and I went with uh, Penyon Audio, and I'll provide a link to it. And I don't have any connection with these guys, but um, you know, I got these shipped to me very quickly when I bought these, and I know they came from China. The box said so when I got it, and um, I got them in like five days, four days, I think. So uh, very quick. Um, 
and they have a huge selection of IEMs and other audio equipment. So anyway, that's the new site I'm going to be checking out and maybe buying some other gear from. But um, I'll post a link to these so it makes it easy for you. Um, but these for me are definite definite recommendation. Um, fantastic sounding IEM. I mean, really good. These punch up way higher price wise than than you know what they really are. Like I said, these are better than the Mangra T. These are 195. The Mangra T's are 299. So let's say these are 200, those are 300, so that's a hundred dollar difference and these are better. Um, and I'm guessing these are better than a lot of things that are even more priced. I actually, I think I like these better than my Fearless Audio, my S8Zs. So um, these are kind of my new favorite and I'm listening to these. And these and the, um, the uh, uh, BQYZ, right? The, yeah, no, the BQEYZ. These are my other favorites right now. You've seen these, I did a video on them. Um, and in fact, I would say this, you know, the, the thing about these is they don't really have bass. Like the bass on the ISNs is superior to these by a mile. But the mids on these are very good, but the treble on these is just astonishing. I, I wish that, you know, these two would get together and make babies and they take this piezoelectric driver that they put in this thing and put it in the K, the ISN, I mean the H, sorry, the H40. Um, or they would take the H40's bass tuning and mids and put that into this this BQ EYZ spring because if you could get this treble with this bass and mid and, and the treble on these is excellent I mean I have no problem with the treble I love the treble on these but the treble on these is special it's it's just really special if I could mix this treble in with these that would be like an end game IEM in my opinion because the stage which I didn't talk about too much but the stage on these is excellent I could hear things in the background on the side of me on the in the front of me um, the imaging was fantastic I could tell exactly where instruments were where singers were where sounds were coming from I listened to a lot of live recordings um, and and uh, you know there's this guy out there uh, it's another reviewer his name is I think it's called the auto audiophiliac or something like that and um, he's been around and from what I've seen in his videos he's been around in the audio business for a very long time and so he has a lot of connections and friends and and in the industry and he posted a link to uh, um, to download some music that I guess someone he knows recorded and they went into with some high-end recording gear they went into a live performance in the hall and they recorded it and the difference is that it's non-compressed music. It was like this guy recorded it and then released it. There was no running it through a processor, that kind of thing. So, and the thing is, the recording's fantastic. And I, I don't particularly like the music, um, but I did listen to that as kind of a reference point or a way to kind of check, you know, imaging and and soundstage. And I can tell you, the imaging and soundstage in these is is using those songs is really fantastic. Um, if I can find a link to download this, those again, if you guys want to test those out, I'll, I'll do that and I'll put it in the, the description on these. But um, so, yeah, definite buy. Beautiful IEM. Very nice looking, very well made. Um, high quality cable comes with it. The sound is phenomenal. The treble, the, the mids, the high, every, the, I'm sorry, the treble, the mids, the bass. Um, imaging fantastic stage fantastic um, nothing I can say wrong about these for me in and you know considering that I'm buying a lot of IAMs nowadays at 195 I would highly recommend these I think these are a great buy I think they're better than the Mangra T which is a hundred dollars more so uh, thanks for watching I hope this video helps you and we'll see you soon